Welcome back to our UMA2 tutorial series where we learn how to use the dynamic character system. And in the last video, we added UMA into our project. We created our own UMA character running around with a character controller on him. And in this video, we're going to get some clothes. Well, we got a few complaints that we're running around the street in just our pants. So I popped over to a fantastic website from Will be that's the guy from the Unity 3D Asset Store that's created a shed load of clothes and they're all fantastic. And on his website, you can get some of his stuff for free. That's right, you don't have to pay a penny. And we're really lucky that this month the freebie is this robe set. The guy looks a bit like Assassin's Creed, it's pretty fantastic. Also, there's these wrapped pants, so I've grabbed those two, and for good measure, I've grabbed the gloves of hammer and I grabbed the Uma body retexture volume as well. While you're at it, why not grab a few of their kits that you've got to pay some money for? They're pretty fantastic. And back inside Uma, I've imported in gloves of hammer, a rope set, and these wrapped pants. I've created my own folder called All My Stuff, where I like to keep all my stuff. And inside there, I created a folder for prefabs, folder for scenes, and a special folder I've called Uma with a subfolder called Wardrobes. It's pretty empty at the moment. So let's click Create, and let's look down here and click Uma Wardrobe Recipe. Okay, so let's rename this to be Rope. And here, where it says drag race is compatible with this recipe here, we're going to be adding the human male and the human male DCS. So just click on there, and you can find human male and human male DCS. We also want to find robe set, expand the folder, and here you're going to see overlays folder and slots. So let's find the robe and before we click anything let's just lock here so we don't lose it and let's drag slots here and you'll see that our robe has been added. Now we've got our robe slot added to our wardrobe we're going to quickly pop over to the overlays folder and find the robe overlay. And here you can see M3B rope set rope. There's also rope AC. I'm going to assume AC stands for Assassin's Creed because it looks a bit Assassin's Creedy. But I'm going to grab the other one. Now you drag him into the overlay for the slot that you previously added. So now you've got your rope slot. Your rope slot has got an overlay. And this is where all the magic happens. So we've got here albedo, the normal, and the specular. Now for our display name, I'm going to put nice rope. Wow. Nice rope. And the slot for the wardrobe is going to sit on the chest. Now imagine here where I have suppressed wardrobe slot. We could be wearing items of clothing on other body slots, that could be jeans on our legs, we could be wearing um, armbands on our arms, we could be wearing headbands on our head. Now, if our robe was covering other parts of our body, we'd like to say that if we're wearing this robe, take off all the other clothing. And that's what the suppressed wardrobe slot does. So I could say here, um, legs, it's all of the trousers that he would be wearing been to be moved, I could say um, on his arms, and I could say on his helmet, I could say on his shoulders, but if I also said his chest, when we load up with this wardrobe enabled and active, because we're suppressing the chest, you wouldn't actually see the robes at all, because our, our robes sit on the chest we've just told it to suppress the chest. So always make sure 
that the slot that you're actively using this clothing on isn't one of the ones that you have suppressed. Now, our robe that we're going to be wearing, it comes all the way down, if you remember from the screenshot that we saw on the website. So we want to be hiding the male legs. And actually what this does, hide base lot, it removes the leg mesh completely. So we will have a chest mesh, we will have feet, we won't have any legs. And we also want to suppress the chest. And that's in the male torso. Otherwise, our Yuma's nice pectoral muscles would probably be peeking through the rope. Now don't forget, this isn't the case for all Uma clothing. Some artists, they keep the original Uma model beneath the clothing and they've got a bit of a, a gap between the model and their clothing. Some artists, like Will be, like to remove the underlying mesh and have their clothes replacing it. And that makes a much, a much tighter fit. Now, if you're going to use the replace, that's effectively just for things like replacing the head mesh with a high poly mesh, things like that. If we were going to play about with this here now, we'll have some unsightly um, results. So leave replaces alone for now. Now, last but not least, we can put a nice little thumbnail here. And I went into GIMP and I made one from the image from Willby's website. Now, where we are already, we've actually made our wardrobe with a robe on it. That's all we've needed to do so far. Let's unlock this and let's go back to our Uma Mail. See here, why we've got our dynamic character avatar open, drag wardrobe recipes here. Couldn't be simpler than that. So let's go to our wardrobe, find our robe, and drag it on. You see that it's appeared here. Robe human male, human male DCS, and these are the races that our robe will be compatible on. Let's click play and see what happens. Will it explode? We just don't know. No. But here is our avatar. And he's running around looking pretty sexy. Fortunately, he's got no shoes, no gloves, no hair, no eyebrows. It's a bit sad. So let's give him some eyebrows. So let's go to Uma folder. Let's find our human mail. Let's find recipes. Let's find wardrobe recipes. So let's just grab uh, eyebrows. Let's grab eyes. Let's grab and drop in hair. And let's grab and drop in a beard as well. Let's click play. And we've got white hair, white eyebrows, and white beard. And you can see they've been added to them. Now later we can play about changing colours. We can even change colours in one time. But for now, this is our Uma. He's looking pretty good. I just want to show you, you could make things a little bit more complicated. If we went to robe. Now, I'm just going to hold down Alt, make a copy of my robe, and I'm going to call this a full underscore robe. And let's change the name to be full robe. Let's lock that so we don't lose it. I'm going to go back to our slots that we got given in this reset. Let's drag in another slot here. Now you'll see that we've got our hood. And our hood needs to have its own overlay. That is here. We'll add that in. What else can we add? Well, we could also add, for being weird, the boots. So, let's drag the boots in, and let's find the boots overlay. Drag that in. And now that we've got boots and a hood, we're going to come back up here, and we want to make sure that we've got our feet suppressed, 
and we're going to hide. There is, here it is, hide the male feet. If we click play, nothing's changed on our UMA. And that's because we haven't dragged in the new wardrobe onto our UMA. And even if you are editing the original wardrobe, you still need to remove it from the UMA and put it back on again. So let's unlock here, back on our UMA mail, and let's remove the robe, and let's drag in our full robe. See here we've got an exclamation mark appears, and that's because we haven't got our UMA robe full robe in the library. So we click on it, and it's got all of these things here up here. The ones that we really want to look forward to at the moment are the wardrobe recipes. And here it is, full robe, it's unticked. I tick it, it's now enabled, and I'll, you can see also here is the overlays. If you were going to add in your own custom overlays, you would have to enable them here. If you were adding your own custom slots, you'll have to enable them here. Now the exclamation mark's gone. If we click play, you'll see Uma's looking very different. He's got funky boots on, he's got a funky hood. And believe it or not, that's it for this tutorial. So until next time, if you liked it, click it. And if you want to see the first part of our Uma tutorial series, click on that video on the left. Beneath it is the ultimate survival tutorial series where we're adding NPCs and AI. And if you like these videos and you want to see more, please click that big red subscribe button. It's really big. Can't miss it. There it is. It's big.